So we know the numbers are increasing, of course. We've been hearing this uh, before today over the last week or so, thousands of new cases daily, at least across the state. But how are we doing locally, and is there anything we can do to help? Uh, are we truly faring pretty well through all of this? I spoke with Greensboro Mayor Nancy Vaughn about COVID, the holidays, and also health care in the triad. So, Mayor, it's an understatement to say that these are unprecedented times. I mean, with COVID and the holidays coming up, what's what's the scoop with this? Because obviously people are concerned about gathering together. They are, and rightfully so. And I have been speaking with the health professionals over at Cone, and they really hope that people limit their exposure to large groups. You know, if you're with your with your families, that's one thing. And this is a discussion that I'm having with my own family. You know, how many is too many? And, you know, do we do some of it virtually or hope that it's going to be a nice day and we can meet at somebody's backyard and have dessert? It's it's a really hard discussion to have right now because this is a time we love to be around our family and friends, except the positivity rate of the tests are going up and you never know who's going to be affected and you don't want to infect your whole family. From a city standpoint, um, how does this completely throw a wrench in the works with daily operations of a city when, when obviously you guys, you can't, you can't have as many meetings in person, you just can't do it? Well, we've had a lot of our public meetings via Zoom and you know, the outside operations really haven't slowed down. Obviously police and fire and field ops, um, you know, the big things are, they continue to get done. We have a lot of people working from home just like many other companies do. I am not in my office as much. I'm, I work from home a lot because I am in that, um, you know, that group that has pre-existing conditions. So I need to be a little extra careful, but I also want to be available to people, whether it's by Zoom or by telephone. How do you think from a healthcare standpoint, how are we holding up in the in the triad as far as available beds and that type of thing? Is is Do you think we see a peak in sight? I know speaking to the people at Cone that they're concerned about a peak in the coming weeks. And you know, one thing that um, people really need to recognize is that we are fortunate that we have a field hospital. You know, many places were, you know, scrambling for where they could put people and, you know, would the federal government build, build a field hospital? But with women's hospital going offline so recently, and Cone Health stepping up and re-outfitting that hospital to take patients. We really have our own local field hospital, but that doesn't mean we should sit back and be comfortable about it because that those numbers are rising and eventually that hospital could get full. Thank you for your time today, Mayor. Really appreciate it. Best of luck to you and your family as we head into the holidays. You know, one of the things that she emphasized was that we're we're all kind of, you know, we're going through this together. It doesn't matter whether you're the mayor or whoever, everybody has to deal with this. And she said small businesses are probably their greatest concern, um, and especially those businesses that are directly affected, like restaurants and bars and movie theaters. She said we owe it to them to do the mask thing, do the three W's and just do what we really are responsible citizens would do to help out our small businesses because they're the backbone of the triad. Right, and consider shopping local this holiday season. Um, you know, Eric, in that interview, you focused a lot on the holidays. I don't think any of us, very few people overall, thought that we would be in this position heading into mid-November, heading into the holiday season. I've, for myself, I thought this was going to last until about April, maybe June and we'd be done with it, but it's still here and we do have a part to play in this and we do have the common courtesy to uh, the requirement for that mm -hmm. to put a mask on and to respect people and respect their wishes at this time. So fingers crossed that we can get it under control again.